Happy Halloween, everybody. It's Saber, and I've brought you something a little bit different today. If you don't much care for intros, you can skip to the timestamp on the screen. Cool? Everybody gone? Alright. I've covered Phasmophobia a little bit on my channel and over at Ace of Spades, and I know a lot about the game, so I'm here to share the secrets of ghost hunting with you. However, as you might guess based on the 14 pages of notes that I had to write out while making this video, there is a lot of content in Phasmophobia, so in order to make your life easier, I'll be including timestamps for everything in the description. I will also be including links to all the fine people who made this video possible in the description, so go check them out if you like what you see. And with that, let the disappointment begin. Yeah, I saw Are you here? Tarot cards. Are you here? What the hell? <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Saber, what is a phasmophobia? Phasmophobia is a puzzle-solving horror game in which you and whatever other unlucky souls you drag along will search through spooky maps trying to find a ghost and identify it. And then you just leave. No, seriously. You just leave. What's even Show the point? Yourself. Phasmophobia offers both single player and multiplayer options. You can Baller try to take on the ghost Show alone yourself. as a test of skill or because you don't have any friends, or you can bring along all those Baller people you Shawn barely Cross, tolerate and here. watch them die off one by one, then blame the deaths you caused on the people you murdered. Uh, Saber killed himself. But, unlike in real life, you don't just go hunting ghosts because you're stupid. No, here you do it for the only Baller thing that really Shawn matters Cross. in life. Are you a little you bitch? do it for money. Scared. In Phasmophobia, the game starts you off with next to no actual gear, and you use your money to buy more so that you can become a more effective ghost hunter. Or, if you're like me, you save it all up because you're saving up for a new Lambo. However, if the ghost kills you in amateur, intermediate, professional, or nightmare mode, you lose all of your gear, so you have to be a little careful. The difference between amateurs and professionals is their gear and how they use it. Using the right tool at the right time is integral to a quick and efficient hunt and can even be the difference between continuing to alive Walter or joining Shaw the ghost. Cross, show yourself. Even if you do become unalived, have no fear. You're still around as a ghost and it can interact with non-equipment objects around the house. You can use He's these objects to, to communicate with your team, give them the helpful advice, or lead them astray if that's more your out. speed. But we're that's getting like off track. Let's talk about the gear. It. When talking about the gear in Phasmophobia, I like to divide the 23 pieces of equipment into three categories Ankle based on what they do. The These categories are detection, identification, and utility. Detection tools are mostly used to locate That's the ghost four. room, or in lieu of that, to identify activity oh, hotspots that could lead you to the ghost room. <laughs> These are best used in the beginning of a match, with few exceptions. Examples of detection tools are the flashlight, strong flashlight, EMF reader, thermometer, head-mounted camera, oh. parabolic microphone, and sound sensor. Your flashlight is your most important tool, allowing you to see and navigate in dark spaces. Holding a flashlight uh, in your hand and right-clicking will turn it on or anything. off. However, if you have a flashlight in your inventory but not in your hand, oh. pressing T will toggle the hey, flashlight on or off. During a manifestation or a hunt, your flashlight hey, will begin nerd. to flicker if the ghost is nearby, reducing your visibility. Hi. Your flashlight's beam can also lead the ghost right to you while it's hunting, so it's best to use your flashlight as little as possible when you're trying to hide. Additionally, all the same rules apply to the strong flashlight. 
which is a flashlight that just has a brighter beam of light allowing you to see farther and more clearly in the dark. There we go. The EMF reader displays a visual and audio prompt when the ghost is active near you. Different levels of ghost activity register different readings with the EMF reader. When the EMF reader is turned on but not picking up any ghost activity, one orb will glow and the EMF reader will be silent. However, when pointed at something that the ghost has interacted with recently, sign, such nerd. as a door or a light switch the ghost has touched or an object the ghost has thrown, Show two or three orbs will light up and the EMF reader will scream in excitement. When the ghost is manifesting or hunting, the EMF reader will randomly flip between one and four orbs lighting up. The noise of an active EMF reader attracts the ghost, so it's best to drop it if you're being chased. Lastly, there's the EMF level 5 evidence. When a ghost gives an interaction that, that will cause EMF level like 2 or 3, it, it has a 25% chance to instead give EMF level 5 if that's one of the pieces of evidence for that ghost type. The thermometer is the most important piece of detection equipment Go after the ahead. flashlight or strong flashlight. Right here, right here. The ghost keeps its room 5 to 10 degrees Celsius colder than the remainder of the house, which can be measured using the thermometer yep. to easily find the ghost room. When a room goes below 0 degrees Celsius or 36 oh. degrees Fahrenheit, your breath will fog up and you can mark freezing temperatures as a piece of evidence in your journal. The head-mounted camera is a camera that displays a live feed of a player's point of view back to the truck's computer. I know, but this can be toggled between night vision and regular is, uh, vision by left-clicking the mouse in the truck. Uh, the, Sometimes the a player will miss something that's happening in their environment and a second set of eyes might be able to catch it and help locate the ghost room sooner. Oh, is it freezing? Alright. The parabolic oh, microphone detects sound, allowing you to identify to activity hotspots. It picks up everything within a 30 meter long, 6 meter wide cone in front of where the parabolic microphone is pointed, even detecting sound through walls. Excuse the this includes spirit box static, ghost sounds like grunting or groaning, as like well as both ghost and happened. player footsteps. When giving a sound reading, it adds up the decibel value of everything happening within its detection area and gives and that it, number, which can allow for very yeah, high readings. It's throwing things in when a ghost manifests or starts hunting near the parabolic microphone, it go. will display random decibel values, though it cannot attract a hunting ghost to you in any way. The sound sensor is a parabolic microphone that you can put on the ground and monitor from the truck. The sound sensor covers a wide area, which can be helpful for narrowing down your search area in larger maps. Each percentage point on the sound sensor's is. reading data is roughly equivocable to one decibel value on the parabolic microphone. Identification tools are for when you want to identify the ghost. Usually you'll use them after finding the ghost's room to start gathering evidence to figure out what you're working with. Identification tools include the ghost writing book, UV flashlight, glow stick, You'll video camera and tripod, dots projector, no. and spirit box. The ghost writing book is a piece of oh. equipment that only ghost serves writing. to gather evidence. While holding the ghost writing book in your hand, you can press F to place it down on any flat horizontal surface. If the ghost is in the same room as a ghost writing book and has ghost writing as one of its three pieces of evidence, <laughs> it can write in the book. <laughs> The pen will levitate and there will be an audible scribbling. This can happen. also be seen via a video camera from the truck. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, it wrote. There you go. There we go. All right, that's one of the things I needed. With the, the UV flashlight casts a dim beam of ultraviolet light that can detect fingerprints. While under the UV flashlight's beam, oh, really? doors, oh, windows, so and is. light switches that a ghost has recently interacted with may have Mother. bright green oh, fingerprints yeah, or handprints left behind on them. When you see these, you can cross off the fingerprints evidence the from your journal. The glow stick casts an ultraviolet light around itself, covering up to half a door from the ground. These can be left on the floor near a door or on a windowsill in order to detect fingerprints, though after 60 seconds it will only glow half as brightly.
The video camera, like I the head-mounted camera, sends a live feed back it. to the truck of whatever it sees. However, unlike the head-mounted camera, it can be placed while being held in your hand by pressing F. A video camera can be toggled between standard vision and night vision either by right-clicking with it in your hand or by left-clicking the oh, mouse in the, the truck's computer. Oh, that's the footage I needed, computer. baby! During a manifestation or a hunt, the live feed and the camera's screen will both be filled with static. Lastly, any video camera can detect ghost orbs, which look like little particles of dust floating around the ghost's room. Yeah, there it is. Placed on the, the wall. dots projector may look like a laser array, but I promise it won't hurt you. In addition to being a bright light when mounted on a floor or a wall, you can use it to get the dots projector evidence. When a ghost is near the dots, dots projector, dots you can sometimes see it run through the laser array as a silhouette. Mm. Oh, there's the... there's the... Are you old? The spirit box allows you to ask you questions young? of the ghost and sometimes get answers. When a spirit box is turned Are on, it glows orange and emits here? a lot of static noise. By asking questions into your local or global chat while holding it, the ghost will sometimes respond to questions about their location, age, or mood. What do you want? Are you young? Are you here? Utility tools are for the other eight tools that don't fall into either of the other two categories. They're mostly used for making money and can be used at any point the during the match over. depending on what dirty. you need. Some utility tools are the photo camera, crucifix, lighter, smudge sticks, candle, salt, motion sensor, and sanity pills. The photo camera allows you to run around the house and take pictures of various objects and ghost interactions for extra money at the end of a contract. These include taking a photo of the ghost, anything that the ghost has recently touched, including doors, windows, light switches, or objects, cursed objects, burned crucifixes, or dead players. The crucifix is a piece of equipment that is only effective after it has been thrown on the floor. A ghost attempting to start a hunt within three no, meters need of the to crucifix the will be unable to. Still need to get a However, this will use it. up a charge of the crucifix. A, a crucifix can effectively block two hunts, each time this becoming more and help. more burned. Oh, there it is. Burned the second level. The lighter and the candle are functionally the same the item, with the only difference being that you can place the candle on a horizontal surface. Using the lighter or the candle and carrying them with you will prevent passive sanity drain in the no, dark. Don't blow out my lighter, you son of a bitch! The smudge sticks are an integral yeah. part of making sure that you stay safe well, and alive mean? during a hunt. Garage will be safer. Using one before the ghost starts hunting prevents it from hunting uh, for three minutes and also area. increases its general activity. However, using a smudge stick the when the ghost is near you during a hunt dead. repels it, causing it to run away oh, from you and dead. forget where you are. Oh my God. That was clutch. I like it. The salt shaker creates a pile of salt on the ground that the ghost can then step in and leave a footprint. These can be taken pictures of for money or be used to track the ghost's movements throughout the hunt. No, uh, you made his finger. The motion disappear. sensor keeps track of anything that passes in front of it, right, emitting a bright flash here. for people to see and making a noise out Perfect. in the truck. However, this can detect both Dang. players and the ghost walking through it, so be now warned I need of that. Ghost to step through it. All right, off I go. Oh, never mind. Oh. You can't, cause you're friendly. The sanity pills are really super simple. You take them, you increase your sanity, that increases the average sanity. The end. Cheese for everyone!
I hit on the wrong side of that barrier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, come on, nerds. I'm gonna show you to the kitchen. Wait, is this the cheese? No, that's a sponge. What? I'm willing to bet it's in here. Uh. Is there, is there potatoes in here? Potato! We found a potato! There's a whole bunch of potatoes. Hello. Hello, Irish. Oh, it's a cold store. Oh. Hey, look. There's butter. Butter? We're close. Cheese! Big wheel of cheese! Sometimes while exploring the maps, you will find cursed objects, such as the Ouija board, the voodoo doll, or the summoning circle, among others. These cursed objects can be extremely helpful in the right circumstances, Please. but if you use them wrong, the ghost will punish you with a cursed hunt. So be careful when using them. Now what is a cursed hunt? Devil. Not only does a cursed hunt last 20 seconds longer than a regular hunt, it also provides you with a mere Need one second grace right. period to get away from the ghost before it can hurt Death. you. Let's play with some cursed objects. You first. The Ouija board is the one cursed object that everyone knows how, how to use. By asking questions into your global chat, the planchette Five, will move around the board one. to provide an answer at the cost to your sanity. These can include things as useful as the ghost's location Where or bone you? location, Two more flavorable G things, like the A age of the ghost and the method of death. A this can also be used G with the hide-and-seek command, G which will oh, initiate great. a cursed right hunt the second you say it. How old are you? Two. Seven. Hide-and-seek. The Cursed Mirror is an excellent option for finding the ghost room as it allows you to see the ghost's surroundings through its own point of view. However, it drains sanity rapidly, so be careful when using. If the mirror breaks, it causes a cursed hunt. No, the, ghost the Summoning is the Circle is not only easy to abuse, but easy to use in general. You light up the five candles at the corner of the pentagram. The ghost appears for a short while, but cannot hurt you, making it a prime opportunity to take pictures. You then run away, or give the ghost a hug and let right. it kill you. Oh, this is a fast motherfucker. The voodoo doll is an excellent tool for locating the ghost room. It can force the ghost to open doors, throw objects, or create EMF responses in its immediate area. However, if you push the pin into its heart, it causes a cursed hunt, so be wary. Well, if the first card I draw is just going to be death, then that's fine. <laughs> the tarot cards are a small deck of cards that, when drawn, have a variety of wild effects on the contract. The effects of the cards are as follows. The sun fully restores a player's sanity to 100%. The moon drops a player's sanity to 0%. The tower causes a ghost uh, there, interaction there, 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 in the ghost room. The, the Wheel of Fortune can either burn green for plus 25% sanity or red for minus 25. 
The devil triggers a ghost event, which is oh, witnessed hey, by the player closest to the ghost. The High Priestess oh. revives a random dead player, or if no one's dead, it hanged revives man. the next player that dies. The Hanged Man instantly kills the player that drew it. Death causes a cursed hunt. The Hermit teleports the ghost back to its room and prevents it from wandering for one minute. And the Fool additionally looks like a different card before revealing itself. It has no effect. And Hermit. I got a lot of... The music box is a tool which can be used to easily locate the ghost room. When played, the ghost will start to sing along with the music wherever it is. However, if you get within 5 meters of the ghost while holding the music box, the ghost will begin to approach you as a special interaction. If it reaches the music box, it will initiate a cursed hunt. What do you mean? A twist of the tongue is easier sung than said in a similar way. The turn of a phrase, a verbal maze, will put you in the fray. By carefully forming your words in the morning, your consonant fouls on the like. Enunciate clearly the words you love dearly and try this tongue twister for size. And with that, let the disappointment sign. Bad, I Oh, dude, sweet. I've got a frying pan. Irish, pay attention to what the fuck? Can I make that happen again? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> You're not meant to play around with the frying pan. It's serious business. <laughs> God damn it. You realize when you say funny things, you're just giving me more editing to do. Turned off the light. Oh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Guys, I've got a hangover. So did I yesterday. Yeah, but don't tell her we're killing Inka. Is it hunting, or is that you in here? Okay. You dead yet? That's a yes. Well, uh, it's been fun. Well, uh, it's been fun. I'm, uh... <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. I know. I know I said I'd leave. Just a moment. Just a moment. I need to set up something else. I'm gonna give you some pretty lights, okay? I... Listen here, you little shit. I... Give me a sign, nerd.
hide and seek. I learned from my mistakes. Ma'am, ma'am, I, I need to take you to a hospital. Your legs aren't supposed to bend this way. Ma'am, 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 don't you crawl away from me. Ma'am, ma'am, this isn't healthy. You know, I always call the ghosts ugly, but in truth, we're also kind of ugly. I mean, the only thing my model's got going for is a nice ride. What did he say? <laughs> Dude, Monster Hunter Rise is so good. Like, I haven't been able to put it down lately. Strange, though. I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh, fuck! Thank you all so much for watching. The links to all the beautiful people who made this video happen will be in the description, as well as the links to my notes. The video for the ghosts will be along in due time. However, I just need a little bit more time, and I wanted to get this video out on Halloween. On that note, happy Halloween, everybody, and I will see you all next time. This is Saber, heading off. I am your wolves.